Hello and uh, welcome back. Today I'm gonna play a little bit, a little bit nostalgic, and uh, it has to do with my past. Uh, of course, when I was young, I was playing also uh, with CB radio, and I always wanted a big linear amplifier. And, uh, and now I found one on on eBay, and uh, it's the Bremi BRL 200, and it should deliver about uh, between 80 and 120 watts. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a little bit old. It has uh, two tubes inside. I'm totally not familiar with tubes at all. Although I do have some HP equipment with tubes and my high voltage a voltage supply from my Keatley. It has tubes, but I'm still a little bit scared of it. But I always wanted one. And nowadays with the modern equipment, with uh, JSUS here, they have uh, 100 watts. So. It, it is, uh, in that sense, it's not needed, but I just wanted to try to play, and it was cheap, so uh, let's have a closer look. So, and here it is, the Bremi, I think it's from the 80s, so it is, uh, well, 40 years or something, but it still looks uh, quite good. And, uh, yeah, it's sort of an internal tuner plate and load so you need to adjust it for the correct frequency it needs some heat up time when you switch it on and uh, yeah I was kind of impressed that I found it it's heavy because it has a big transformer I don't know how many volts but it is probably I don't know 200 volts at least on the tubes 52 ohms impedance I will just use the dummy load as an antenna. I need to be careful not to break the tubes. And I think I will just open up also. And just to see if the tubes start glowing or I don't know. And there are probably solid state linear amplifiers and they are a lot smaller. But that is not the point. I just wanted to have one because, yeah, I always wanted as a kid. You need to be careful with the input power because I think you need to be between four and six watts, and don't put too much because then will, you will just break it. Okay, here it is open. Two huge valves or tubes. And what does it say? USA. It's two different ones. Oh no. Now it's just turned. Six. Six JB six A. I think it says. I will see if I can find the schematics. Two pots. They still go well. The caps. Big transformer. Well, these are probably need to be replaced by now. High voltage. There is a little, that seems to be original. It says FU, like audio meters. And uh, well, you need to try to get it in the middle. If you do more, you just load the uh, tubes too much and then it doesn't, uh, it will affect the lifetime a bit too much. It looks very simple using just uh, 58 coax in. Yeah, maybe it can be replaced. Everything seems to be connected. Big relay for the transmit. It's how to detect, so I don't need to transmit uh, to ground. Well, let's uh, plug it in and see. Well, during the transport, I had a closer look. During the transport, one of these here went loose, so I tried to solder it. I want to clean that later, but that leads is now stuck. And it probably provides uh, power to the tube because, yeah, I think. So I want to keep track of everything.
So I have my uh, electric parameter meter just to see the current that goes in the primary side of the input voltage. So we put that in between so we see how much current draw there is. Uh, I wanted to use my, uh, I just acquired this one also, the 857 from Jesu. But it, in this little box is also already 100 watts. And uh, the lowest is probably around 10. So uh, I didn't want to do that, just to be sure. So I have my old QRP. And that is here. It's also a Jesu. It's a 917. And its maximum is 5 watts. So then we are safe. I will probably not get the full uh, 100 watts out of the Brainy. But at least we can see uh, if it even functions. So, uh, yeah, it's really small. <laughs> Especially if you compare to the, to the 859. Look at this. Sweet little radio. <laughs> so, but uh, we keep track there. And this one I can see on the power supply here, how much current it is drawing. I want to check my input power. I have a little... SWR meter and here a big needle for the output and then I put it all in my dummy load I have here from my other video from Kenwood can do 300 watts to have just a good impedance and then we connect everything so let's just connect everything first we start with the uh, the primary because it needs to heat up a little bit. So uh, this side we don't need. We can power it on and then 30 watts, 60 milliamps. Okay, and ah we can see the we can see them glow. So I'm putting the little Jesu to the power. That uh, will probably not do more than a few amps. Well, you can see the meters. You can see this meter. Good. Then... Okay, here's the setup. We can see the current of the JSU here, but it will not be too much. Input power, output power. Here we can see the, this one you need to always adjust to maximum. And here we can see how much current the Brahmi takes. So if we just transmit now, nothing happens here. Here we have almost 5 watts. Here we have also output 5 watts. And here nothing changes. Now we put it in operate. And if we transmit now, we would should hear the relay. Yes, and we see power. And we see here also power, but not much at all. And probably in the current, 1.2. But we need to adjust the plate first now. And that needs to be a maximum here. I'm not sure if you can see, but maybe I can zoom in a bit more. Yes. And this one needs to be to maximum first plate. And we turn, turn, turn. Maximum, and we see the power coming also there. Uh -huh. Keep also an eye on the SWR here. And this would be the maximum. Then we have the other side, this one, also peak. I 
Maybe we can adjust a little bit here. Uh, this is really the max here. And then we have 72 watts output. And it becomes a little bit warm. That was nice to see that the current also drops after a, uh, after a while. Then it becomes more efficient. Or yeah, almost uh, 72 watts. So probably if we put in a little bit more SW water is perfect. <laughs> okay, I picked up my Segal needle meter because I like to adjust with that a lot better. And because you can see much more easy the peak. So. Yeah, almost 70 watts. And it's fast, but, but cool. Let's see if we can put in a little bit more. Well, I have another radio here, and that is the, it's a famous one. It, this is the Intec uh, HR550, but it's sold under uh, a lot of other names too. And this one, I have here the RF power. I can adjust uh, almost from one up to 30 watts I think or 40 watts so I will carefully try here to go up to 10 and I will connect it to the Brahmi so I connected the Intec and I can adjust it a little bit more easy but I need to be careful not to go over 10 watts then we can see here better. So, but let's go slowly uh, up. That's what I like with the needles. You, it looks so good. Okay, well, go back to five. We were there. Okay. Put in. On. Yeah, back to 70 watts, and now I can try slowly to go a little bit more up to 10, but not much more. Oh, yeah, that works. Oh, that was the We are at the maximum here. Yeah. I can put more in, but it makes no sense. Now we go almost up to 100 watts. Cool. Now I'm gonna break it if I do that. Ooh, look at that. Cool. Now I'm putting in 10 watts, which is actually a little bit too much, but then it goes up to 100. Look at that. Ooh. Quickly go back. Cool. So also I like to see what about the harmonics. Um, if we connect it to the spectrum analyzer, um, I have here 40, 50 dBs in between, so that should not be a problem. And uh, let's see with and without. So now I have directly, well not directly through the, through the linear, but on bypass, we do see a little spike here. Um, measure harmonics here we go okay 
Got a few. Minus 64. So 60, 64 dB, next one 31 dB, 55, and that is without. So let me get now with power. Yeah, now it's almost here on me. Um, 51, 86, so it's even better. <laughs> cool. Yeah, maybe the harmonics come from the bypass setting, so I put now the radio directly. And then, yeah, it's much better, 70, 60, 67. So that noise came from all the cables within the linear. So that was pretty cool, the brain fully working. Um, yeah, of course, the electrolytics in the power supply need to be replaced. Maybe the contacts of the relay I need to clean a little bit because we saw that there was a little bit of noise. Uh, I got a harmonic and uh, I didn't see when I connected directly, but this relay there just bypasses it. So I think if I do the contacts and uh, when it actually went through and it was on, the the harmonics disappear so and then it's actually a lot more cables and filtering so that uh, it must be the contacts and but what I also can do I have somewhere just to be sure I have also a low pass filter for 30 megahertz that I can also add to put on top or maybe somewhere inside even if there is enough space just to be sure that it is uh, super clean, I will lose a few watts, but the signal will be a lot uh, cleaner. Yeah, I have one here. It's the TV3300LP. It's from Drake. You can find these very cheap in, uh, on uh, eBay, well, at least on our local eBay, like uh, 30 euros or something. And then if I put that in between, you will see it's completely uh, gone, that noise. And uh, because that's how uh, <laughs> the low pass filters work, uh, but of course I want to fix it on the on the in the Brami itself. So thank you for watching, and uh, hope to see you next time.